All right, what is going on guys? So today I'm out on the canal. Fishing is not that great. So I've decided instead of like a normal fishing video, we're gonna do a heavy lure setup overview. Show you guys what I'm fishing with at the minute because I did one of these about two years ago and then it's changed. I think everything about this setup's different now. So yeah, we're gonna flip the camera over, show you what I'm using because I get this question like every day and Hopefully it'll clear up a few things. Yeah, I'll flip camera around now, show you guys what it is, why I've got it, and yeah. So, heavy lure setup. We'll start with the rod, the bread and butter. This one, Svartsonka rod, Abu Garcia. I forgot the actual name of this rod, it's stupid. They've discontinued it anyway, I think. <laughs> so I can't, I can't be too helpful. I'll put it in description now. But yeah, it's an Abu, uh, Abu Garcia, Svarsonka, whichever, it's like same same company, I think. Um, yeah, two piece, eight foot six, which is like a perfect length for, length for me, to be fair. I'm quite tall. I like a long rod. You can cast super far with a long rod as well, which, you know, is perfect. I like casting far. Example, let's go long cast. There we go, cast miles, cast half my spooler, and line capacity on this is a lot, so. Yeah, reason I've got this rod, really, it's long, it's stiff, and I was told that they were really durable rods, and I break rods a lot, which is what happened to my last one, I snapped the tip off it. Um, so yeah, that's why we've got this one. It's strong, it casts up to 220 grams, which is, really good and it casts light lures really well as well um this one's around about 50 grams what i'm using and cast it like a dream 200 gram lure cast like a dream as well so yeah and uh another reason it's even small fish you get a good bend in the rod but it is stiff enough to work jerk baits with the tip like if you can remember, my old Western rod was uh, had a really fast action tip, a really soft tip. You could not work jerk baits effectively with it at all, which at the time wasn't too bad because I've just spooked a ton of fish there. At the time it wasn't too bad because I wasn't using uh, jerk baits a huge amount, but now I'm using them a lot more than I was. I want a rod where I can work them with the tip. Especially boat fishing. I mean, on, on a canal, it's, um, you know, you're going to be using your reel more just because you've got reeds in front of you, etc. But yeah, you can work jerk baits really nice with this. Nice, uh, you know, it's a stiff tip, but you can get a good bend in it. So good for jerk baits, good for hook sets and it casts light and heavy lures, so it's it's perfect really. I've uh, not had any issue with it so far anyway. You know, cast, cast like a dream. Like I say, eight foot six, so you can get a lot more distance. A lot of people are still using like six foot rods, which I've never been a fan of personally, but you know, each to their own and all that. I wouldn't use a six foot rod, not for heavy lures. Maybe for like boat fishing, but yeah. Anyway, that's the rod. So that's Anka, eight foot six, 220 gram max casting weight. Not really tried it with anything heavier than that. I think my heaviest lure is about 200 grams. So yes, bang on for me. Uh, cork handle, which I prefer. Um, I know they probably don't last as long as plastic handles, but I like, I do like the way they look and feel, so. Yeah, cork handle, just, yeah, plain there, uh, standard black rod, reasonable price as well, I think it was about 120 pound, something like that, I think I got it on sale, but yeah, it's not, I didn't, didn't cost me a huge amount of money for such a good rod really, so I'm happy with that. That's the rod out of the way, just had a perch at my line then. <laughs> That's the rod out of the way, onto the reel, which is 
Akuma Komodo, 364, which is the larger size. Um, stainless steel bearings, so it's, it's you know, for saltwater fishing as well. And to be honest, the only reason I got this reel is I've not had chance to t use many other high capacity or larger size bait casting reels and this is like the only one they had in the shop at this size so that's why I bought it basically um, and yeah it's been decent I mean the, it does need uh, some well either bearings greasing or replacing or something like that it's making a few noises but I've had it probably 18 months now without taking it apart or servicing it so that is to be expected to be fair um, and yeah you don't need a large capacity reel like this for fishing heavy lures you can get away with a smaller reel but I have got these big spade hands so I mean even this reel it'll look small to you to, with my hands but to a normal person's hands it looks really big so, <laughs> so yeah big hands which is why I've got a bigger reel mainly if I didn't I would probably use a smaller one because they are cheaper might not last as long but yeah served me well this reel so far holds tons of line it says 14 pounds 230 yard line capacity which is mono so probably you know 200 yards of 90 pound braid which is what i use not that i'm going to be casting that far but you never know might do some deep sea fishing with it <laughs> but yeah that's the real basic stuff again really it's akuma uh i had an akuma citrix before this which was the 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 cheaper version and that was good so got this one and not had any issues with it cast like a dream rarely get better clashes only if oh, i can't remember last time i got one actually with this maybe if i cast into a tree something like that i'll get one but yeah very rare i'll get one holds tons of line feels nice in the hand as well for my hand anyway Feels nice. Might be a little big for some people's hands. But for mine, it's about perfect. Uh, and then the line. Uh, I think this line might be the same as what I had last time, really. Because <laughs> I think it's off at the same spool and it's 90 pound spider wire stealth, uh, which is. Uh, it's reasonable, it casts nice, it's a nice diameter, uh, nice and smooth braid. It does break less than 90 pounds, which is a little annoying sometimes. I've lost a few lures to snags with the braid breaking, but I do, apart from the lower breaking strain than stated, I do quite like this braid. It does fish nicely, and I've not changed it on this reel since I put it on, and it's, yeah, still got colour, sort of. And still uh still works it's not afraid or anything like that it's uh yeah bang on really i think it's um it is a lower diameter than most sort of 90 pound braids i think it's 0.35 mil whereas you'd expect sort of point at this uh, breaking strain which is probably white breaks at less than 90 but to be honest I'm all right with it and the reason for the heavy breaking strain before people ask because someone's gonna ask they always do they always ask uh, the reason is to stop you losing layers whether you get a backlash and crack off or Who's in snags? If you've got a 20, 30, 40, 50 pound layer on, you don't want to be losing it, do you? And if you're bank fishing like me, you can't just go over and belt and get it back. So, yeah, that is the 
braid, the rail, the rod. Pretty basic stuff, really. Um, there's one thing I'm doing a little different to last time, and this is purely because I lost my spool of fluorocarbon for leaders. We are doing a bit of a different leader. <laughs> We've got a copolymer leader on, a Savage Gear Regenerator. Um, it's actually a 167 pound braking strain, or 168 pound braking strain, I think it is. Super thick leader, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's, it's not mono, it's not fluorocarbon. Apparently it's, you know, got more, res you know, abrasion resistance and all that than mono. Uh, but yeah, I lost my fluorocarbon, this is what I had instead. But I've been using it probably three or four months and not had an issue with it. Not had any damage to it at all, so I am pretty happy with it, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> thickness of it, I can't see anything biting through it. I know uh, a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, but got to use your own head sometimes, don't you guys? Got to use your own head. <laughs> And I'm happy with it. People made uh, higher braking strain fluorocarbon more av available in this country. I'd buy that, but they don't, so polymer it is today, for now. So we're not a co-polymer, and then uh, we'll probably buy some more fluorocarbon. Uh, but yeah, 168 pound braking strain, I think it's, I think it was like six pound for a spool of 30 meters, which is not a lot of money at all, is it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy with this leader. And then for the uh, snap, for the good old uh, Staylock snap, patting around with those, can you? I've used Staylock snaps for years, never had one fail. Don't open it too wide, because you can break them that way. But other than that, they've uh, saved me well. So. That is the whole setup. Probably a bit boring listening to that. It's don't really sound like I know what I'm talking about because I don't know what I'm talking about. But at least you know what I use now. And money-wise, I think we're going to say about £120 for the rod I paid. And that was discounted. The reel was maybe 250 and the braid sort of 20 pound leader six so 400 pound foot full setup at a push not too bad you can get these reels cheaper now i think um i've used this use it a ton uh i'll keep it until it breaks it's not like it just sits in the shed so yeah that is my Avila setup. I'm going to try and catch a fish for you, so you've got something, you know, to watch in the video. Apart from me just talking and casting and not catching anything. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll end this on a fish. If not, it's probably going to be boring, isn't it? Knock out of those reeds for it. I was barely moving it. Barely hooked though. Oh, it's not a bad fish either. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just snicked it on the edge. Man, that was. <laughs> the lure was barely moving then. I've got my net stuck as well. Oh, got a net like this. Get him out of these reeds first. That's not too bad actually. Get it back. Half net. 
weren't expecting that at all. Proper shocked me. Just snuck out. Just get a quick um, measure on him while I'll show you. Just uh, see if my measuring uh, scales are up to par. I'm guessing it's going to be about 72. Oh, bigger. 77. See that? I was just touching. 77 pinched. Bit me on my fingertip, but not a problem. There we go. Not terrible, that fish. Get him put back. Oh. There he goes. Back into the reeds where I came from. Ooh. Yeah. Bit me on the old fingertip a bit. But there we go. Fed <laughs> a pike, 77 centimeters. <laughs> on there. Uh, one of my mate Ross's um handmade shads, RT custom baits on Facebook if you want to cop yourself on. Just the slowest like you could possibly move a lurk and it just snuck out of that reed bed and just nicked it. I wouldn't say it even hit it, it just nibbled on the tail. <laughs> That's cool though. A fish. A fish for the day. Let's play that so gently then. I didn't have my net set up. Barely hooked. <laughs> 